Today I'm going to share with you one healthcare institution in the UK that is recruiting senior carers. The good news is that they are giving UK sponsorship. Probably what I want to say is that I've not been paid to advertise this, but it's just an opportunity I want to share with you. My name is Stark Watchman. You can simply call me Kobe. If today is your first time seeing my channel, what I do is I talk about nation, I talk about IELTS, interviews and stuff, and everything that will add value to your life. If these are topics you have interest in, then please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and then become part of the family. So I saw this job vacancy on indeed.com and I wish to share with anyone who has interest. So it's coming from Priority Care Shuki and it is located in rural. Here are the job details so that if you have interest, you put your application. It says that the annual salary is £26,200 to £26,400 a year. Remember, it's a senior career position and the job type is full-time. So you are going to work as a full-time employer and that they've called flexible shift and shadow weekend availability night shift flexi time and then day shift whichever one you want to go for and then these are the benefits you get once you put in your application and then you are shortlisted for interview or you get a job the company will run your your pension and then there's flexi time and that is your ability to choose your flexible shift your relocation assistance and then uk visa sponsorship so this is something you have to take into consideration so what this means is that if you are outside the UK, you can still put your application. And these are the full job description. I always say that don't just be concerned about the pay or the visa sponsorship. You should be happy about what you are coming in here to do. Okay. And this boils down to the job description. Responsibilities it says number one, provide assistance with daily living activities such as bathing, dressing, and grooming. So the question is, is this something you are happy to do? If your answer is yes, you can go for it. Assist with mobility and transfers. Administer medications as prescribed. Prepare meals and assist with feeding. Perform light housekeeping tasks, include laundry and then cleaning. Provide companionship and emotional support to clients. You also monitor and then report any changes in client condition to the supervisor. And these are the experience you are looking out for. You should have previous experience as a caregiver or in a similar role is preferred. If you're a nurse or midwife, you have a caregiving experience, so you can apply. Knowledge of basic caregiving techniques and principles. Ability to communicate effectively with clients and their families. You should be compassionate and then patient demeanor. And you should have character, good character towards your patient. And um, ability to handle emergency situations calmly and efficiently. So these are the experiences they are looking now for. And the skills you should possess are excellent communication skills, both verbal and then written. Strong interpersonal skills to build rapport with clients. Ability to prioritize tasks and then manage time effectively. Attention to detail in providing care and then documenting client information. Physical stamina to perform caregiving tasks, including lifting and transferring clients. And if you are passionate about helping others and making a difference in their lives, we would love to hear from you. Please apply with your resume and then references. So probably you should make your resume ready. But the advice I'll give you is that don't just send the CV you have at the moment. Try as much as possible to tailor it to the full job description, the skills and everything so that you are fit for the job. So at this point, it's up to you to sit back and then draft a very good CV to get that done. If you want me to review your CV for this job application, please reach out. I believe that I'm going to put in your application and at a point, if you get positive feedback, don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you very much for watching this video up to this point. I believe that you will share this to as many people as you can so that they benefit as well. If you want to join my community, probably I do share job opportunities, I do share interview tips, I do share other tips and stuff. Then I'll leave the link in the description box as well. Just join and then learn a lot from there. Thank you and hope to see you in my next video. Bye.